Daisy is just going to go and hit him up like that. It's mad. So with the PMB thing, yes, unfortunate, man. But what are you meant to do? Like, you're not meant to wear nice things. You're not meant to, like, be successful. You're not meant to make money without going have... out in public. You're meant to have, like, bodyguards all over. You know what I mean? You... What can you do? <laughs> yeah. What can you do? It's it's an interesting one. Um, one of I, I, we had a guest on here um, a couple months ago, who was saying similar to what you're saying, yeah. which is um, you know having a gold chain and this that and the other. It it attracts the evil eye, mm. like like it, you hope that it gives like young people or other people peers and whatnot um, motivation yeah, to want to yeah. do well, but it also can kind of give them the wrong type of motivation yeah, 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 and it yeah. can attract the evil eye. And like you said, someone who, I don't know about lazy, that, that might be a bit harsh, yeah, harsh. Um, but someone who's not so, who's not doing well for themselves yeah, yeah. Can, can, yeah, can see an opportunity or it could just be out of hatred or yeah, an, yeah, an yeah, envy yeah, yeah. or it could be, I genuinely want to try to remove that from him so I can sell it for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's one of those sad situations, man. But it's 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 like it's us all the time. Yeah, man. I know, I know. It's black people know, all the time. I know. I know that there was that thing that happened in Liverpool, um, that shooting, that little girl that died. R.I.P. to that little girl. That, that that's obviously tragic. Yeah. But it's it that looked like from the pictures I've seen so far, that looked like that was a, a white gang, okay, like a, like a okay, white okay. white thing up there. I'm not okay, sure. Okay. Um, I haven't seen many pictures, but I've seen a couple. Yeah. But like you know, that that's that's um, yeah, the one off, not the one off, but that doesn't happen. Yeah, a lot. It doesn't yeah, happen. Yeah, most often. of the time yeah. when it when it hits the news or yeah. even the ones that don't make the news, it, it's usually us, man. Where, yeah, hundred percent. You know. Do you think there's um, the a link between that and like, just like the black community as a whole being in deprivation and. Like, yeah, like I said, we spoke about colorism before, innit? So yeah. even if, if you're going to have, like, I don't know, hatred towards your own, but your skin's lighter or darker, imagine that person, you already don't like them, and then now that person you don't like because of their color, they're, like, rich, and then they've got, like, a car, then they've got, like, a beautiful woman that you feel like you should have because you feel like you're better than him, and then... So that naturally is going to cause, you know... But that's how some people think. I don't think, like we said, innit? I don't think every... It's not like known in every race to think that way to have this like com competi um, this competitive, sort of, yeah, competitive nature. Yeah, um, it's mainly in the black community, and I, I don't, f I don't feel like I feel any. I feel like if I see someone doing well for themselves, whatever, I'm like, I'm happy for you. Like mm. whatever you do, I, I don't know why that is, man. Mm. I don't know why that is. I don't know. I think, I think in most cultures, you know, around the world even outside of the black community, just most cultures, there is a thing where dark-skinned people yeah, are viewed as... Less. Yeah. Yeah, 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 less. I saw a quote, actually. It was... Um, I think I've got a picture somewhere of, like, Andre 3000 wearing a jumper, and it says, in every culture, the darkest-skinned people suffer most. Yeah, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It, you know, it's asking why. So yeah. there's definitely apparently, something... Apparently, it says that the lighter your skin, skin is, they feel like you're closer to God. That's apparently what I've interesting heard. Like, the light your skin is your close. It means you're closer to God. I don't know why. I mean, if you think about it, like God is God looks like Santa, isn't it? In the pictures <laughs> we see, yeah, like God in, even like, in the clouds. Even Jesus, even like yeah, the picture of yeah, Jesus, and yeah. then you're like, you was in Israel looking like you're from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's it's, yeah. it's mad. So you got like um, the things that are associated with 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 that, like you know. The whiteness and the whites, yeah, the yeah, lights yeah. and the. Have you heard that song by Swiss called "Nigger"? No. Swiss. Okay, you need to hear. It. I'll send that's it to that's you one of my favourite rappers. So I'm ashamed that. Yeah, I heard that. Part. Now you need to hear that still. Yeah, you need to hear that still. Um, the last, the last tune that was a massive hit from him was obviously "Cry," innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, was the yeah, big, yeah. the big banger. Yeah. That, that, that there, that moved the whole culture. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. But yeah, the things that are associated with like darkness, black, black skin, yeah, yeah, yeah. And black male, and black ball, and yeah, yeah, all yeah of this, it's this negative. negative. That's what terms, this, that's so. what Swiss was saying in that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. it's, yeah it's proper. And they, yeah, it's, it's proper. How it's not to go into slavery and mm. stuff, but it's mad how they warped us, like they change our whole like you know identity mm. and everything. Yeah. 
it's structured. It's, it's yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah. you know, since since anyone was smart enough to get together to structure this thing, that it was done. Yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. Do you what what advice can you give to like other rappers out there, um, based off the PMB rock thing? Like, what you know, what are you what are you saying to your colleagues? Them, <laughs> I'm just saying. I could. I think. I'm not gonna say stunt less because you should be able to wear what you want. You should be able to do what you want. Facts. But maybe just, I don't know, man. You can't have bodyguards. You you want to be a normal person, like, but you just a bit on the highest. I don't know what to say. I honestly mm. wouldn't know what to say. It's just like, like be vigilant, but then it could be a close friend as well that's envying you that might want to mm. you know could set you up look, look at Tupac back in the day it was people that he knew were getting mm. him robbed and stuff so mm. but yeah probably don't only thing probably don't like share your location and stuff mm. and bait it up um, yeah. but yeah there's not there's nothing like I said in it if you got a goal and you want to achieve it do it if you want to buy a chain buy it but you just got to be you just got to be careful, man, and just watch yeah. the company you keep. But there's a lot of rappers out there that wear big chains and stuff, ain't getting robbed and shot, that are still in their ends and stuff. So it's... it's Really? Still in their ends? It's not still in their ends, but, like, obviously Nipsey tried to be like, he got killed. I know, like, the locks and stuff, they go back to their ends. The young they don't wear like... chains and that. <laughs> Jay the Kiss, um, Chic, and um, Styles. The, I've not never seen ends. them with... No, I've they... never... No, I don't see that still, but it's probably not as, as expensive and that, but I've seen them with it still. No, nah, I've never seen it. I, every time I see them guys, it's plain, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I've, never, I've never seen it. I'm not saying yeah. you ain't, I'm just saying I, yeah. I've never seen it. Um, I, I, can't re- I can't think of anyone who's in the hood with big chains on. Nines like was that. on that. Nines was on that. On, in okay, <laughs> okay, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and then also there's Fredo as well. I yes. seen, I seen, yeah, yeah, yeah. but but I seen clips. I see clips of him in the hood, like yeah. with his chains on. Usually, someone's filming them. I don't know if it's a vid music yeah, video. Yeah, they exactly. don't know yeah, what, yeah, but yeah. yeah, it's just it's just not Saturn now. It, it's unfortunate. You should be able to do what you want, but it's not Saturn that I would. If I had a son, I would. I, I would. I wouldn't tell him to do that. Yeah, of course. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it that way. Of course. Of course. Um, okay, so getting near the end. Um, Future endeavors, like what? What's next for you? Like, what's next? I got a video <laughs> dropping on Monday. Yeah, um, with my boy Ardy Mills. It's called I See You. Um, got a show next week. Um, Croydon Box Park is hosted by Ellie Prohan from Kiss FM and Joey Clipstar from Link Up TV as well. Yeah. Um, got another project. I dropped a project called Bittersweet last year with Ardy Mills. Got another project coming out of him. I think next year. Got a couple more tracks to record from that. Mm. Um, I'm working on some solo stuff as well. Got a couple more videos I'm going to drop. I got one going to drop on Monday and then next year, a couple more. Just try to get more shows. And yeah, just I'm just going with what feels right, man. I'm just mm. going with what feels right. Any opportunity I can get, I'm just going to try and take it, man. So, Love. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Um, and then... I swear you bought a house. A flat. You bought a flat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that's an achievement. Thank you, man. Yeah, Appreciate man. It. That's an achievement for <laughs> a black you, man, man. In, in, in London. Yo. Thanks, sir. What, would, what steps did you take to make that happen? Like, with, do, you know, do you know what? Yeah. In, Give it, some it, game. There was, um, it's, it's a bit mad because, like, my dad, like, when I was young, my dad bought his property when I was, like, bare young. He bought his one. And he'd always, he was always on me, like, oh, you need to get one, you need to get one, you need to get one. Um, and I actually started saving, innit? I started saving, started saving. And then I actually went to, I actually was, like, flat hunting and stuff. One sec. When you were saving, yeah. were you still living at home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with your parents? With my mum, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. so, that, so that, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. So I was just I was saving and saving and then... Um, I went, I went, I actually saved up enough money and then... For a deposit? Yeah, for a deposit. Yeah. And then I went, I was just looking around, looking around. I didn't really, find, actually, I, I, I did bid for one, but then something happened last minute and it didn't fall through. And these times when I was looking, I was kind of taking a break from music and then I had enough money there, whatever. And then I remember going, I went to Cyprus or something, I came back and then I wrote my, my project. Uh, diamond in the rough 
and then a lot of money I saved, I used that money to like promote that project for videos, okay. clip, all that stuff. But I went wow. that year. Yeah, that year I wasn't. It's weird because I was I was spending it, but I was making it back. I wasn't really saving that year. Spending it, making it back. Okay. So once that project was done, it COVID hit in it, and then yeah, COVID hit, and then. I was just like, hmm, I should start looking again. And I literally went to look. I did, weren't going to bid enough. I thought, let me just... And then I went, and then I found one. A stage agent rang me. I was like, yeah, I got one for you. Went down, saw it, and then I just... I was like, yeah. You liked it? Yeah, yeah, Copped yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, Thanks, man. Um, from, from the stage of seeing it to actually owning it, was that a long process? It was, lo it was like three, three four and... months, man. I yeah. kind of was like, hurry up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Lawyer hurry fees. Up, hurry, and... Yeah, hurry yeah. up before I spend this money. Yeah. <laughs> It's long. Yeah. Um, okay, cool, man. And then lastly, bro, um, what advice would you give to any up and coming aspiring artists? Um, yeah. You know, what can you, what can you pass down? The only thing I could say is like, I'm thinking back to when I first started and um, obviously there was like a lot of people like, oh, you do music, whatever, whatever. Like a lot of people are going to tell you you shouldn't do it. Um, just follow your heart in it. If it feels right to you and you're passionate about it, just just follow it. For, don't care what no one says. Like we were talking about um, earlier, what being a misogynist when it comes to. Do you know how much women are, that have come and been like the music thing? I've been like, if you don't like it, leave. Literally. What, what do you mean? No. What do you mean? <laughs> no, like um, so like I'm I'm on my music path or whatever. Yeah. And they'll come and try and tell me, oh no. You maybe should do something else. Okay. Maybe, and they I'll, don't want you doing music. Yeah, and yeah. then and then I'm just on a vibe like, well, if you don't like it, leave. Okay. And then so and that's I've had to deal with a lot of that doing music. A lot especially when you're first starting and you know, you're like scraping and stuff and no one really sees the vision. You mm. get that a lot. But then and this is with anything. If you it could it doesn't matter what you're doing, if you like have a bit of talent and you just put hard work into it hard work yeah. into it it will pay off eventually innit yeah. so that's there's a, I there's a um, I, I heard someone say this a few times the same saying um, that girls wait at the finish line yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and fuck the winners <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, that's 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 a saying that I've heard <laughs> where did you hear times. that from <laughs> um, some guy on YouTube oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> He, he when he's making his point, he's like, girls don't girls don't run the race. They just yeah. wait at the finish line. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it's rare for that minutes. for that to happen, boy. Yeah, it's rare for like, yeah, yeah. It's 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 difficult to have someone who's willing to run the race with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you a, a lot of girls will say they want someone who's ambitious, but right. actually, I think I think that's code for. I, they, they want, want someone man. who's who's got money. <laughs> yeah, or, I want a rich man. Yeah, or yeah. has a has a maybe like say for example they're a junior doctor now, but they are progressing to be yes, a yes, yes, the yes. doctor or yeah, surgeon yeah, yeah. or whatever. Do you know what I mean? That type of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. That's what they mean by ambition. I I I have experienced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, man, it's interesting. Cool, man. Yeah. So your your final advice is um, stay on your path. Even stay on your path if it feels right. Do it, follow your heart, follow yeah. your passion, don't listen to anyone, just have like tunnel vision. Yeah. And even if certain times, there's bare times I've been like, I'm going to quit, I'm going to quit. There's any time I've almost come to quitting, there's always something that pops up and I'm like, oh, I'm glad I didn't quit. So like, even when you're feeling low, feeling down, you just got to keep pushing through, man. Mm. So yeah. Cool, man. Nice one. Thank, thanks again for your time, nah, man. Thanks for having me, man. All the best for the future. Bless, man. You too.